What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. We got week three. It seems like we're going up against the whole NFC East or North or you know the, the division with the Redskins, the Giants, the Cowboys, the Eagles, that division. You know, it seems like we just going up against all of them right now because we facing them back to back. I haven't even looked at the whole schedule yet, but that's what it seems like right now. But y'all already know who we're going up against on, against on offense. Got the Tony Romo, got the uh, Witten, got Dez Bryant. Do they have the no DeMarco Murray? They got some other running back in right now. Jason Wynn over here, he's doing what he does best. But this game, it, it made me realize that we got a game plan mid-game. So we got to go in. Some teams, you know what's going to be happening. Like, you face the Patriots, you know it's going to be a lot of passing plays, not that many runs. Uh, you face the Cowboys, I wasn't expecting it to be something real. Wasn't expecting Tony Romo to be 5-for-5 five five right now in the first quarter. But he is. He was completing passes. He was doing a lot. I have no idea what happened right there. But I thought I was going to get the tackle with Quincy Blunt. Quincy Blunt dove forward. I guess he got blocked by his own teammate. Or I don't know. We're going to take another look at this. They hand the ball up the middle. It looks like it was three defenders there. Vic Beasley was there as well. But nobody was able to get the, the tackle. So, you know, Quincy Blunt starting to get mad. Matt Ryan trying to do anything he can. He's starting to rush. Scramble out the pocket, got eight yards. The Dane Taylor ain't even blocked. But it's all good. So, it was fourth and three. Later on in that draw, we try to get this first down. Nothing. The Atlanta Falcons is getting frustrated. They turn the ball over. Now we back on defense. Quincy Blunt playing angry. He's starting to get more up in there, getting this tackle on Randall. Joseph? I think that's Joseph Randall. I'm not really sure, but that's what I'm thinking. He's stuffing runs out here all day, every day. And this time, the run stopper fails us. Because as I told y'all before, my run stopper, it stops runs okay. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't sure about how it defends the pass. And right there, you you can see, like, if, if you mess up in the passing, then it's going to be big. Because both of the, uh, it's a cover two. So it's a cover two getting played by the corners on the outside. So the middle of the field is wide open. And it's left up to that middle linebacker. And unfortunately, I wasn't really paying attention at the moment. You feel me? So Daniel Taylor trying to do anything he can. He's getting that first down five yards after contact. Levi about the fight dudes on the cowboy this game is getting real chippy but they really trying to wild out right now might have a fight i'm like that they added that imagine maybe they're gonna add crackbacks or something i saw a block in the back that looked real but it happened to me when i was playing offline or on a whole nother thing but you see right here Daniel taylor getting subbed out matt ryan throwing touchdowns it's as simple as that we trying to get in this game we were down by two scores now we're scoring it is all good. Uh, we just try to make it back. Because this game, I'm telling you, it's getting frustrated. I was getting frustrated playing it. I had no idea that Tony Romo was really, really like that. I didn't know he was like Peyton Manning. But it's, I said, it's about time we hit him with the Quincy Blitz 3.0. If y'all don't know, y'all got to go watch the last two Madden games. Because there's Brian kicking up on us. We got to bring the pressure. Make him feel uncomfortable in the pocket. We got to do something. See, we bring this Quincy Woods 3.0. The second time we get a holding call. Is that is that just a random thing to happen or was it was it happening because we brought the pressure? I'm not sure. But if it is like something that happens because we bring the pressure, I'ma clap for Madden. You feel me? I give Madden thumbs up for that. That's nice. So we in here again. I almost fell for the play action. We sacked Tony Romo. It's all good. Quincy Bliss is out here. We too quick on that. It's always been good. Always worked. You feel me? Third and 22. They end up not doing anything. They punted the ball away. Now we back on offense. Dale Taylor on the sidelines again. Matt Ryan throwing it up. To Julio Jones in double coverage. Gets the pass to come down with two seconds before halftime. You already know what we're going to do. We kicked that field goal right here. Making that again. This is all good. Now we only down by four points. Coming out in halftime. We back on defense. Tony Romo lined up with nobody behind him. We gonna blitz him again. Bring that pressure. 
bring that pressure. That's all you got to do against Romo. You bring that pressure, get him uncomfortable, it's all going to change. So he's starting to miss passes now. They throwing Daniel Taylor forward. All right, they starting to – everything changes when you bring that pressure. You don't want nobody getting no pressure on your team, so you bring the pressure to their team. We over here catching passes for first downs. We're trying to get down the field, trying to score right quick. We don't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Back on defense, we bring the pressure again. You see us gang tackling again, another flag. Another flag. It brings out that new trait they added, I guess. Another holding call on the defense, I mean the offense. And now I'm really feeling like this is something. We really game playing this up. And now we about to come back. This time, we kind of went a little early, but it didn't matter. Didn't matter. I think it was a draw play. We over here body slamming the running back. It don't matter. Quincy Blunt, three tackles. He was getting frustrated. You feel me? Stuff happened to him before the game. After halftime, he, he was not having that. You feel me? So... We get the little sumo body slam, German suplex, Brock Lesnar suplex city type tackle in the backfield. We blitzing again. And of course, you better get rid of that ball. It's that pressure. It's that pressure coming for you. So, what are we going to do again? Second down. We coming up a little bit early, trying to back up. Trying to back up, waiting for him to call it. He calls it. We get blocked. But it's all good. We beat the block. Vic Beasley comes around, gets the sack. He tried to throw it. They called it a fumble, and we gone. We gone. Touchdown. Defense scores the touchdown. This would have never happened if he wasn't bringing that pressure. You don't bring the pressure, you don't get stuff like that. You can't really cause turnovers unless they make a mistake. And how they going to make a mistake? How you think? You feel me? Now, I also think Tony Romo got injured on this play. I think he stayed down after Vic, Vic Beasley hit him. Uh, so that definitely was a plus side. So we got him out, got him out of the game. They had to bring in the uh, they back up. So it's all good. 17 to 14 after they back up, do nothing on offense. We over here spinning off blockers. Everybody got the confidence now. Damn, Taylor dragging the four defenders needed to bring him down. He's a little bit tired right now. We're gonna hand it back to him up the middle again. Two people needed to bring him down even when he's tired. This is a good game for Dan Taylor. Not that many big runs, but he is averaging some nice numbers. Now we do the screen, spinning off another block. That's my bad. Probably could have had more yards, but it's all good. You feel me? We get the first down, keep the drive going. And on first and 10, we back to handing it off. The blocking is so great. Kind of did the truck a little bit too early, but we get another first down. So it still doesn't matter. 70 plus yards. We coming up another run play, bouncing off of blocks again, and another first down. We got to keep giving him the ball. Another, the same play, spinning off the block, breaking the tackle into the end zone. That new animation, I'm not pressing B, I'm not moving the right stick. It's like I ran into the blocker and I spin because that's what they add. They don't have you just sidestep anymore. We actually spin, then broke a tackle, then got pushed people, dragged people into the end zone. It's real great to see all these animations, man. If you say this game is bad, you you just you just looking for for it to be bad. Man. You're looking for that trouble, you're gonna find it. So that's how I'm playing it right now. We got this Quincy Blitz 3.0. Wasn't able to get to Romo, but. He did get that pass off finally, gain a nine, gain an eight on the play. But we trying to hold them down. It's under two minutes left, and they down by two possessions. We still bringing the blitz, though. We coming up. Jason Witten getting downfield. If he would have broke that last tackle, I don't know what would have happened. But maybe it's time we need to stop the blitz. Maybe we can play conservative a little bit. We don't bring the blitz this time right over the middle. I mean, what can I say? I mean, what, what can I say? The game plan, it tricked Tony Romo. He was playing like Tom Brady in the first, second quarter. We switch it up. We bring the pressure. Everything changes. The offensive line started getting holding calls. Tony Romo throws picks. Got baited by Quincy Blunt. If y'all were subscribers all the way back in Madden 13, y'all know how Quincy Blunt does with them interceptions. He had the record at 19 in a season. I had three in one game against the Saints, you feel me? It was that serious, but we end up winning this game, man. We beat the Dallas Cowboys, and Tony Rumble didn't even care to shake Julio Jones' hand. I don't know why. Go over and hug an offensive lineman, but it's all good, you feel me? We win this game. I told y'all in the last video, 
we wasn't losing no more. We trying to starting to kick up. We got the game plans right. We switching things up mid game, and that's how we gonna win. But this video is coming to an end. Daniel Taylor is the man. Quincy Blunt always making plays, always doing something in each game, causing the fumble, getting the interception. So that's what he do, man. But always remember, in the street we trust. I'm out.